Hey, very Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Dante and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, they fell the Pirate Master and brought peace to all Scrimland. This time, well, what are we doing here in Ye Royal Sewers, despite the fact that we've taken out the Pirate Master? Well, there are actually a couple of areas that I could have very well have gone to, but didn't. And I just screwed myself out of the end of that area, didn't I? Crap. Okay. Let me just go back here. What? Did that really move? Oh, there's actually something down here? What? What? Good was that? I don't know. Uh, 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 let's see if I can't do this right this time. Basically, what you gotta, gotta do is blast those blocks up there, and be careful not to hit this one. If I can actually make that jump. There we go, okay. We go to this end of the area here. We have a, um, gauntlet sword. We gotta mow down enemies, like, pretty much every enemy that we've encountered in the game. So, yeah, it's gonna be a ton of fun right here. Okay, the reason I didn't show this area before, because this area has no tie, tie to the story at all, and it yields no special rewards. This is just a little fun little area that we can just try to read through and just. Can you just die already? Jeez. Thank you. But these guys can be so annoying to keep up doing them. Yeah, it's a more just... There's an attack and just... Do you have a couple of pottery here that do, that do yield us some money? But... That's not important to us. Wow, I didn't even... Wait. Okay, down. If only we can attack them. Attack them on the stack form, that'd be awesome. Oh my god, orcs! Yeah, because these things are so threatening to us. Got the ink berries getting low. Oh well. Just super back while I rage it. Just thumb down, okay. And, and we have yeah, somebody else. These guys are a uh, ten line island. Geez, I can talk now. Uh, I'll never, and I'll never get done just complaining about these these things. These things suck. The bun button. Ah, yeah. So, uh, down. So, all this really is is again the fighting enemies. On fighting enemies, so unfortunately, this isn't gonna be the most interesting episode. Of this is starting to kind of watch them. Like I say, we're just mowing down this exact this, the same enemies we have been during the duration of our adventure. Um, so, so glad we we're able to take those things down just with these. Motion up here, and why not monster milk? Just to get quickly. All right, here we go. Take down. Give me much less of this thing. All right, and we are done here. That is everything that that, that is that area. Yeah. Um. Great gauntlet to fight through. <laughs> anyway, um. There's an area I need there's to go to, right? I'll see you on Saliva Island for my, per for my personal favorite area. I've asked you a dog, it's time to solve the link! <laughs> okay. I had to continue here just to, just for that. 
And here we are. At our... In this bonus episode. Well, more or less. Day bomb! Haha! <laughs> okay. Now, this area maze. The, um... Uh, area where we could've gone to once we've obtained Risky... Uh, once, once we've obtained Risky's boots. There's this little area right here. However, we can't do anything about that without dashing into here. Alright. Okay, now this is actually the uh, first dungeon in the uh, original Shantae game. This is a dribble fountain. Easily my favorite dungeon in the entire game. Like, hands down, this is the best. Okay, the deal here is that you want to avoid the water because like, if you fall in, yeah, that's pretty much death. No death marker, and there's no indicator that there. Hey, you fall here, T damage. So we're going by Game Boy standards. It's just okay. Flip these over and head up here. Uh, unfortunately, the game. Oh, that my duty is broken, so I can't play it. Sadly. Okay. Break you down, despite the fact you have start up. Most of these enemies won't yield anything except for beautiful key. Use it to unlock the door. You're gonna be picked up a thousand of these prior to this one. And the game should really up and just stop giving us this stupid tutorial every time you pick up the damn key. Ah, uh, it gets in fear game just. Hey, you pick up a key! Let me show you how to use it! Okay, I feel like I've complained about that more than enough. Is it down here? It's my more pottery! Just because I can! Haha, <laughs> okay. Now granted, I didn't really get all that far in the original Shantae game, but... This area, this... Oh my god, this, this area, I love it. This... The... Music here, it's just that we have this like this. All this scenery is just sort of 8 bit ish. Just, it's awesome. Just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just turns here. Just, I'm doing a really terrible job at it. Here and, uh, okay, we need to be here. Okay. I've only uh, gone through this area like once, so my memory is kind of eh on this area, so I'm just I'm kinda of going through the semi line right now. I love the fact that the dribble fountain is like we have little drops of water just going everywhere. It's a pretty cool detail. It's like even a little detail in okay. In these games, is just awesome. There's a hidden area here with a couple of um pots that you can smash it to just get some money out of. Okay, no, I don't believe you have anything out for us except for just being. I, I assume this is supposed to be like for a. Like I said, I didn't get too far in the original Sunday game. Okay, this this creature here is pretty much helpless. You just camp out here, wait for him to dash forward, and then just smash him up with your hair. That's just, it's awesome. Now, it's a little time consuming, unfortunately, but I do just love all those enemies in this area that you can just pick and camp out, and just ultimately obliterate them. Okay, I don't believe there's anything for us over there at yet. So we gotta head over here and just screw these platforms. I got the cannon, damn it! Okay, ride this plant. And Gee, I wonder what's in this chest. Could it be a key? Yes, it is! It is a key good set. Awesome! Oh, I went back to after there. Okay. Okay, it can't be awesome to just drop down there by downward strike. Fine! Have it your way, game! <laughs> this is Burger King after all. 
you know, Burger King just for dissatisfaction. There. Okay, here, head to, um, where you found that locked door, just where the pincers are almost. Right, of course we're not where the pincers, no, we wanted to have them for breakfast. <laughs> I actually can't imagine a, a pincer being too appealing or all that edible for that matter. Hey, go. Hey, I don't necessarily have. Hey, we don't necessarily have to take on these enemies. This I want to because why the hell not at this point? Seriously. Okay, leave close by is like where we would fight auto potion here. We have super mox milk and there's a super fight ball. And that does it for the button. recreation. In, well, game. There's really nothing else that we've taken that we haven't taken care of. Well, except there's one thing. You remember that duplicate save file that I made? Well, that actually has a purpose because what would happen if we were to defeat the pirate master without all twenty cackle bats, uh, all twenty dark men? See you on that secondary file. Back at the Pirate Master's Palace. Alright, we return to the Pirate Master's Palace once again. Well, once again, take on the Pirate Master. Only this time. Well, a square the map hasn't been filled in? Whatever. Yes, I just want to prove that here. Yeah, 19 of the 20 required. Well, Dark Magic to view the ending that. Uh, to get the ending that I did. Once again, take on the Power Master. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt the video for a bit for some post commentary. Beyond this point, there is no, gonna be no commentary until after the um, credit sequence of this particular inning. I'm also gonna be cutting the fight with the Power Master as it's a battle we've seen already in the um, main series.
Okay, now before we end things off here, I want to bring no, uh, I want to bring special mention to a couple key points. Notice how Uncle Mimic at at, at the end of uh, at the end of this said he must keep on trying to make it better tomorrow. Notice how uh, you notice how the um words "keep on trying" were highlighted. Yeah. That was more so a clever way of saying, you done goofed, go back and try it again, and that's what this was alluding to. Secondly, because of the ending that I've got this time around, notice how a couple of pictures were different. Like, for example, the um, photo with the uh, ammo bear on. 
sinking in quicksand. Yeah, needless to say, this ending is a bit dark. Risky Boots got her re got her weapons back, but they're still under. Excuse me, burped. <laughs> wow, I am turning it into like a race one. <laughs> but back to back on point. The weapons are still under the influence of the curse. The curse will take hold on anyone who wields them, who has them equipped. The gems will be Risky Boots. Yeah, this is what's in store for for anyone who completes the game without alternate dark magics. But with, the, but with that being said, thank you once again for for um, staying with me throughout this entire journey. And I'll see you around the um, 18th of this month. Okay, I'll see you around the um, 18th where I reveal. My next Let's Play. Uh, it might be the 18th or maybe later. I don't know. See you guys later. Peace.